Hello, welcome to the monthly webinar for the Van Winkle Portfolio. My name is Marcus Bickle, Registered Investment Advisor, and I'm going to be doing a deep dive today about the Van Winkle Portfolio and uh, kind of our philosophy and what we, what we hold there. So we, we start the portfolio with some core investments that are designed to provide stability for the portfolio. Now these are generally sector-based ETFs like the SPY or the XLK, the technology fund. And, and they're designed to be a basket of stocks that you can own for relatively low cost that will give you a broad exposure to the market. And, and we think that's very important for investors starting out because even though we're really hunting for the you know, Tesla just starting out, which we'll talk about in a second, you still need to participate in the market as a whole. So once we have that kind of core investment, we also like to choose the next Teslas, or we hope. In this case, an example would be Nikola. Now Nikola is a, an electric vehicle company similar to Tesla when it was starting out. Um, they have had some investment from the Ford Corporation, and most of their footprint is in China, which, as you know, is a very, very large country and has a lot of people. Um, electric vehicles are gaining a lot of traction there, and as we move forward and more and more of the population buys these vehicles, you should see an explosion in socks like this. Now, Nikola, like Tesla has been under pressure um, this year because of recent you know, problems with battery technology and things in China. But overall, the idea is the same, getting in the ground floor on a, an electric vehicle company like Tesla. So that's kind of what, we, what we're looking for with, for the Van Winkle. But next, I want to talk a little bit about financial planning. And to do that, I want to bring on Don Litchfield Brown. Marcus, good to see you. Hey, Don, how are you? Oh, snap. I got to reload again. <laughs> I, love I tell you, I love, love technology. What you're bit. doing is so exciting. I, I'm really excited about young people getting the opportunity to not just um, throw their money in the market and hope for the best, but to engage in it and to learn about what they have, why they have it, Absolutely. and how you're going to manage it. I, was, I wish I knew you when I was younger. You bring up a really good point, I really Dawn, do. because even, even since I've gotten into investing, I've seen so many companies go from, from dollars to <laughs> hundreds of dollars. So the, the opportunity is, is definitely there, and there just really isn't the kind of resources for young investors that, that we would like. So, so I, I, absolutely, we're very excited to help. Well, people. I'll give you two examples. Just, I know this was talk about financial planning, but I owned um, Tesla at 12, okay? And I don't think it went up to 35 or something. And I sold all of it, right? Mm -hmm. Dumb. But I thought, oh, I made good money. Good return. Now, if I had sold half, like you talked about on some of your other, uh, the intros, mm -hmm. um, that would, I'd, same thing with Amazon. I owned Amazon at 14. Oh, my God. Could you imagine? But I sold, it, <laughs> I sold it at 120 and thought I was a gazillionaire, right? But again, my philosophy was wrong based on my age. A a absolutely. So, and we're snapping. Oh, no, we're reloading. Okay, so now we're going to talk about financial planning. So um, what we're going to do in these webinars, hopefully people will um, call in or send us emails with questions, and that's what I'm going to answer today. Yeah, we, we will have a section towards the end of, uh, of, of most of our webinars where um, uh, we'll give you the option to either call in or we'll read some of your questions. Right, so I'm going to, well, I'm going to talk about the question, but I'm going to go to our learning center. Anybody can go there if they can do that or not. Yeah. Maybe he can do that. Magic fingers, reload. Um, well, we're going to go to the learning center in a minute. But while we're going there, it's, uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oh, we're reloading again. Anyway, I'll talk about the question that came in. It there was it from someone who needed the money they had in their 401k mm -hmm. to repair their house for the hurricane. Oh, right. a very relevant question after Ian. Right. So, yeah, for those of us who don't know, we had a hurricane <laughs> yeah. here, or more than one, actually. And um, they said, oh, well, we want to take you know, the money out of there. And I was like, no, not on your life. You're not taking it out. And they're like, well, what do you mean? I said, first of all, you're going to pay taxes on it. Second of all, you're going to pay a penalty on it because mm -hmm. you're too young. But most of all, and most importantly, you never put it back. You oh. never put it back. So if you put it on a credit card, which I hate to say, mm -hmm. but even the interest on a credit card is going to be 
less than the penalty and the taxes you would pay taking it out of your 401k. And the lost opportunity of no longer replacing that investment. And it, right, so it would grow, that investment will grow the 40,000 in the 401k. And you will pay your credit card off, right? Mm -hmm. You will. So the answer to that question is no, not on your life, don't do it. And that, that's a very common thing we've run into. Um, I've had many friends over the years who, who wanted to dip into a a penalized investment like that, and it, it, it truly is not worth it. If you can find other other avenues, like Don said, it really is the best bet. But but Don really did speak to something that most places do not talk about: is that you don't re return the money. That the, the right. money is taken, and the investment is never brought back up. And that's a really a lost opportunity. So what happens is people take money where it's the easiest place to get. Mm -hmm. Where can you get money when you need it? and you go to your 401k, you go to your investment account, you go to all different other sources, and you pull it from there, and you lose this huge growth opportunity that we talk about in the Van Winkle, right? Time. The time, you need time. So speaking of time, let me get back to here. <laughs> Marcus was able to get us to the Van Winkle, I mean to the uh, Learning Center on our website, which anybody can go to. And I like to go to, um, so resources, and you can go to Flipbooks, for example, um, and we can talk about all these different things, understanding Social Security, I hope you don't need to understand that yet. Um, financial management, uh, they're gonna, uh, here's uh, higher education, um, that's probably one everybody's interested in, right? So you can go there or you can go back up and you can go to calculators if I can see them somewhere. Yep, there's calculators, you can calculate things that you need to know and we will, continue to talk about these things every time. Maybe we're gonna talk about home mortgages and why people are saying, oh, the rates are too high. Let me tell you something, rates are not too high. Not compared to the were, they were 30 years ago. <laughs> and I'm gonna give you another example. So uh, when housing prices are low, interest rates are high. Mm -hmm. So in the 80s, you could maybe buy a house for $55,000 and guess what the interest rate was? 21 and a half percent. That's insane. <laughs> so your mortgage payment was, you know, low here, high, here's your mortgage payment. Now it flips around. So when the interest rates go down, like they did, you know, at 3% a while, like a, couple, a year and a half ago, yeah. housing prices are higher. So guess what? Your mortgage payment is still here. Mm -hmm. So your payment is still the same. So your home is your single most important investment to make. First and foremost, you invest in your home. And uh, that's the kind of stuff we're going to talk about. We hope you will. Email Marcus, uh, it's marcus at naplesmoneymanagers.com and get your questions in and we'll try and uh, talk about them every month. Absolutely. I look forward to hearing from all of you and just remember, our learning center is chock full of useful stuff. Um, we were talking about homes. Yep. This has a home affordability calculator, a loan payoff calculator, a mortgage refinancer, um, everything a young investor would need just starting out. Thank you so much for your time. This is the Van Winkle webinar. I'm Marcus Bickle, joined by Don Litchfield-Brown. I hope you all have a great day. Take care.